Good morning, everybody. Welcome to my channel. My name is Luke. Oh, there's a little bit of fog. Don't know whether that'll pick up on the GoPro. There's a little bit of fog there. <laughs> Welcome to my channel. How are we all doing? We okay? Can you see that? I think you can see that, can't you? Never mind. Uh, I've put the GoPro back here again. Uh, it's quite nice having it there, so I might have it there every now and then, but uh, I don't want to do it all the time, so mix up a little bit. Plus, also, when reversing, you can see easier when it's over here, so you can see the trailer a bit more. But yes, welcome to my channel. Uh, how are we all doing? We are in, well, we're heading towards um, Pusey again, that pure pastures place where we went last time, where there was a, uh, well, unsuitable HGV sign, let's remember. But this time we know where we are going and we know what lies ahead. <laughs> okay, over the train track bridge we go. There's a cyclist and a runner. We're just going to come to a, let, a complete stop a second, just let the cyclists go past. We're going to move forward because I don't want anyone else coming over the bridge, like vehicle wise. Just keep an eye on the runner, make sure she's alright. Excellent. Here's a zip bridge. We always have a look at the trains, see if there's any trains coming. <laughs> right, and then just down here on the left is where we're going. Hopefully, we can get straight in. I remember last time it was a naughty reverse. You've got to drive in on the left and then you've sort of like got to come back out on the road to reverse back in at the right angle to where they uh, offloaded me. And uh, I couldn't get up the hill because the wheels were just spinning, but I'm empty this time, so maybe it'd be a bit easier. There's a truck there. I'm hoping there's a. Yeah, there is a. Is there a tractor unit on the truck? I'm not sure. Anyway, I'm going to have to go let people know I'm here. Right, see you in a bit. Okay, fantastic start so far. My, uh... Are you going to work? I'm at work. I am at work. Shut up. <laughs> um, the reference numbers don't match. Uh, even though... I now am getting 13 pallets and I know where they're going. And the paperwork they got says 13 pallets and where it's going, um, which is the same place. They won't give me the load because the reference numbers won't match. So I've got to wait now for the correct reference number to come through. And uh, yeah, they don't open for another half an hour, so I think the guys were doing the work for. So I'm going to get at least a 15 minute break in, I reckon. But this was the, the naughty turn I was talking about. Look, so like. I've got to go back out onto the road pretty much to what well, I do and then blindside it in up around there. Uh, if that trailer wasn't there, it would be absolutely no problem at all. But because it is, it's going to be a bit of an issue. Right, the references do now match. They've, they've always matched. But because my reference didn't have any letters on the beginning and didn't end in 001, that's why they said they didn't match. But... Uh, Everything else matched, apparently. Right, this is the dodgy corner now. It's just very tight. I have asked if he can watch me back and he said, no, you'll be fine. Obviously not, because I can't get that round. to blind it in yeah no I asked I just asked him if he could watch me back and he, he just says no you'll be all right <laughs> cheers for the help Is that okay? I think that was a bit much to be honest. A 
clear left, clear right. This isn't the easiest one to do, to be honest with you. But uh, we should be okay now. This is a blind side, so you can't see anything. I need to start turning. I'm really ballsing this up. I've got a bloody tractor on the left of me now, starting to move around. You're lucky I saw you, mate. I nearly just took you out. Ah, and that was shall do it. That was uh, a lot harder than it needed to be. Oh. As I said, it's just uh, just hay. I could actually move that by hand if I wanted to. So yeah, just internals on them will do. He's going to load them from this side, push them over. fully loaded uh, 13 pallets are on they're each uh, strapped on using the internals because like I said they're very light pallets and then what I've done is on the last one it's 13 so there's an odd number but the last one on in the middle of the trailer I've then crisscrossed straps so then it's protected either side and I've also crisscrossed the straps on the uh, the ass end of it to stop it from sliding backwards so the whole load should be secure now it's important to note that um, when you strap loads like this, I'm not telling you how to do it, I'm just saying it's down to you to make sure the load is safe. If you think it's safe, then that's the main thing. There are people, there's no really right or wrong way, there are people watching this video right now, which are probably saying, oh, not enough straps. Or well, there's probably people right now saying, oh, over the top, too many straps. And that's the point, like, there's no right or wrong way. So yeah, anyway, let's get these, uh, these curtains done up and then crack on to Birmingham to get our second load. Let me go away to Scotland. We are in Birmingham, we're just coming off. I think we need to get in the right hand side of the lane. And uh, literally just over there, apparently. But uh, we'll find out in a moment. It's gonna be hot in here. Put some aircon on. Yeah, it's supposed to be a really warm today, uh, day today, like apparently 26 degrees. So, uh, so my girlfriend was telling me this morning before I left. Um, 
I might be taking this hoodie off. <laughs> yes. But yeah, we're only um, only literally a couple of minutes away. It's just down there. Looking at Google Maps um, over the weekend, it does look like I've got to go down, like turn right and go down like quite a narrow bit down the length of the building, around the back, and then it looks like that's where the loading area is. We shall see. Uh, yeah, you're stopping. This roundabout looks a bit weird here. Yeah? There's cars on the inside already. Very weird. We're going to uh, indicate right. We want the A41s. So we want this lane. Green light. Check it's all clear. Where is he going? Yeah, he's going down there. Excellent. I'm going to stay in the right-hand side lane because... I need to turn right when we just come around this corner. So I might just get in the right hand lane ready. Ugh. And then 13 more pallets need to go on, but I've not got a clue what it is. Apparently this company does housewares. Oh, I can't get round now, look. I might have to indicate left, it's all clear. That's annoying when that happens. You're in the right lane, but you can't go round because uh, of a green, uh, a red light. <laughs> right. Speed camera. Park at, that's where we're going. That red sign, but I do believe that's the exit to the building there. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's the exit. I believe the entrance is here. It wouldn't come down the left of me, mate. Oh, park at, there we go. Goods in and out. Excellent. On Google Maps, uh, uh, this sign wasn't here saying goods in or out, so that's why I, I assumed it was down the length of this building. But yeah, like I said, it looks a bit tight. It's a forklift there. I'm going to hope it's not in there, I've got to get loaded. What's he doing? I can take my seatbelt off now because uh, I'm not on the public road. Okay, so uh, they're all strapped up. These are the light pallets again. I can literally move them by hand. So uh, putting the internals on them. And that'll be it then. Let's go. Right. Let's do that window up because that is loud. We're also going to take this off because I'm hot. Oh, there we go. Uh, I'll sort that out later. I'm hot now. We uh, so we put another 13 pallets on. So we're now we are now fully fully loaded. I realised I said we were fully loaded earlier with 13 pallets. That's half loaded, that's what I meant. <laughs> half loaded. And, uh, oh, that's the wrong way around. Yeah, we, um, I didn't know what he wanted me to do because he sort of said, like, come back. And then, oh, drop it before. I don't know if anyone has ever reversed in, into a building before. But uh, when you're reversing into a building from outside, um, you can't see because it goes from light to dark uh, and you just you just can't see where's the postcode it is fk three eight xg that's where we're going we need a break on the way up as well i'm hot so i'm spraying some deodorant Owls road yeah that's good 252 miles away driving wise today what have we done today so far so we're already on three hours and 12 minutes today. I got a 15 minute break in earlier when we were trying to sort out the reference. So I could drive for an hour and a half, then I need to find somewhere to park up and then, and then carry on driving, then probably need to have another break as well before we get there. But unfortunately I couldn't have a break here because, uh, well, I was actually working. I practically loaded the truck myself. <laughs> Forklifter put it on the back end and then I uh, used a pump truck to uh to get it all on 300 miles it says five hours and 45 minutes 
till we get there. Five to five. Well, obviously, we need uh, at least one break. Uh, oh, one hour forty. Three, uh, just trying to work out on my head. Ooh, we might. Hopefully, we can make up some time because uh, we might end up having to have a forty-five minutes break, like 10, 10 or fifteen minutes away from where we want to be, which will not be ideal. If I don't get out now, I won't get out at all. There we go. We're turning right at this roundabout, so we're staying in the right lane. Oh, this load is so light, man. <laughs> I don't think, it's not often you're fully loaded and you're this light. Like I said, I've only used internal straps on the in, inside. Oh, do I need the middle lane? Yeah, I've only, uh, I've only used internal straps inside because every single one of my 26 pallets, I can move by foot. Um, they're not heavy loads. So weight wise, internal straps are more than enough, in my opinion, to hold them. Um, and they just basically stop it from uh, leaning out onto the curtain. And then obviously the curtain's got 20 odd ratchets going down each length as well, each side. So, uh, in my opinion, it's fully strapped up, nice and safe. But if they were heavy pallets, then um, obviously I'd uh, ratchet them up a little bit more. I'm not entirely sure what lane I want to be in here. I think we're getting to the middle lane. Is this the right lane? It's got to be the right lane. We want the M5, but it says M5 there on that lane there. But we're coming off here. Yeah, this. Yeah, we're in the right lane. Look, nice and easy. Straight over to this side here. M5 North. That's what I think I said. M5 South. Of course, we're going north. Scotland is not south. That lorry's in the wrong lane. It's coming down here. You want to be careful, mate, because I am here. There we go. It's annoying because we're both going around a bend, and two Arctics around a bend on slip roads are not great. And I was already there. Um, well maybe I could have slowed down a little bit, but never mind, we're there. Right. Yeah, we're going to try and figure out what we're going to do now, driving time-wise, because like I said, uh, I need to get an half an hour break in. I've got an hour and 15 minutes of drive time left, so I've got to drive for as long as I can. I'm not entirely sure where the services are. So, it's yeah, it's going to be a case of... Uh, risking it and trying to get as far as we can or playing it safe and then have to have another break later because obviously I can only do four and a half hours driving so an hour, an hour and ten. Oh, it should be right, it should be right. As long, yeah, as long as I drive for a good hour now, a good hour, like just a, more than an hour ideally, then it leave me a four and a half hours driving time and I should get there okay, should. Maybe. There's six minutes of traffic up ahead, so it's making my driving time a bit longer. Yeah, we'll see. We'll play it by you. Anyway, let's get crack a um, And I'll see you when uh, when we stop for our break. It's only quarter past 11 as well, so it's quite early still. <laughs> see you in a bit. Okay, you joined me about an hour, maybe an hour and 15, maybe an hour and 20 later. Uh, we're just coming off the M6 now. We're going to... Attempt to park at Lim Services. We now legally require a break. Um, it's half past 12. We've done pretty well, actually, to be honest with you. But I am a, li I am a little bit worried because there's a, according to my sat nav, there's a big accident up in Preston. Going around Preston. 45 minute delay at the moment. Uh, and that's really going to mess up my... Uh, my driving time so we will have to see I'll, uh, I'll do some calculations when I stop but uh, we might might need to stop for another 45 minute break on the way up uh, I'm hoping to get there in four and a half hours from leaving here but uh, yeah we might not we might we might actually have to stop for another 45 minute break which would be very annoying, we'll have to see. I'm also debating on where to stop tonight as well. Um, I was originally going to stop in LA, um, in an industrial estate right opposite my job in the morning, but I am loaded, so, and there, there's some stuff on there that, you know, might be pinched. So even though it's just like, I think it's cutlery, I think, if that. So not much to steal, but you never know, so. We might be stopping in a truck stop, Route 74, 
is an option, but it's also quite far away from my job in the morning. It's a good hour drive to get there. There was another one, but I can't remember what it was called. That is the one we're going to aim to get to. Possibly, we will see. Services, this lane. But uh, yeah, for now, we just need to park up and have our half an hour break. That is the plan for now. That car's let him out, fair dues. Where is the services? Is the services here? No, services down here. There it is. Services in here. I'll follow that lorry then. <laughs> that lorry will know where it is. Have I stopped in here before? I might have stopped in here before. I genuinely can't remember. All the lorries are going right. I shall follow and go right. Driving time, we are literally right on the cusp as well. We're on 4.28. So we need to get parked up. We need to get parked up! And we should be parked up in the next two minutes. Well, I thought so. We're definitely cutting that fine though, Jesus. I wanted to, I wanted to park in Nutsford. That was my original plan, but uh, turns out it's uh, non-HGV, <laughs> which I now remember, but I forgot about because obviously I've not had to do it for a while. Sandbatch, that was another service. It was Sandbatch, then Nutsford, and now Lim. So I wanted to try and get as far as I can, but this is as far as I can get. What's, what's the crack here then? Oh, that truck stop. They wanted me to come and open that truck stop at Lim Services. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I quoted them an outrageous price, <laughs> knowing full well that they wouldn't accept it. Because I really couldn't be bothered. If I'm if I'm honest, it was a weekend away from the family. Uh, where do we park? Looks like we parked down here. What's that lot we doing parking like that? Oh, there's loads of spaces. I've got one minute to park up. I've never been down here before. Oh look. There's uh, loads of spaces there, look. I'll, uh, what I'm going to do is spin around and park next to these trucks. Let's say he's doing any reversing. There we go. I'm just going to park up here, look. There we go. We had to be quick because we were going over driving time, so. 4.30, bang on. Ha <laughs> ha! I might roll over to 4.31 now in a minute. It tends to do that. We'll see, it might stay on 4.30. Anyway, we're here, we're parked up. We're gonna have a four, no, we're gonna have a 30 minute, not 45. I'm in drive still. And we just start it up, put it in neutral. I do that every now and then. There we go, it's in neutral now. Uh, so yes, half an hour break, and then we will carry on Let's have a look. What are we saying? It's four hours and 52 minutes to the truck stop. What was the truck stop called? I can't remember what it was called now. Uh, I downloaded an app. Da, 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 da. Maury Park. Yeah, I think it was Maury Park truck stop yeah, on the A6 or something. Da, 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 da. A bit quieter. All right. Well, thank you very much. I'm on 30 minutes. I'll see you later, mate. All right? Take yeah, stay safe, mate. Have a good week. See you later. Right. Yeah, we're on 30 minutes. We are now going to go. Um, there's a truck down here. This blue truck and his tyres went. Uh, well, I didn't know it was his tyres to begin with. All, all I heard was bang all the way from over there. All of a sudden, everyone gets out and look. I thought something hit my truck to begin with. It was so loud. But yeah, that blue truck there, it's slanting. It's got two tires, I think, gone on the back. The one on the rear end is definitely gone. Look at that. Yeah, he's lost, lost some tires there. <laughs> That's his day ruined. But anyway, break is over. We've uh, Reset our driving time, four and a half hours, and apparently, according to SatNav, we will be at our destination in four hours and 50 minutes, which means we're 
20 minutes short of time. <laughs> so like I said, we may need to stop for another 45 minutes on the way up. Which is going to be a little bit annoying, to be honest with you. I don't know, we may, we may decide to park somewhere else yet, I don't know. Well, that's, then we haven't got to have that 45 minute break. Because otherwise, if we do, then it's going to be quarter to seven before we parked up and a lot of spaces might be taken, so... Yeah, I don't know, we'll have to see. I don't really want to have another 45 minute break and then carry on again for a little bit. We will see, we'll see how far we can get. The traffic ahead might clear up by then, so... What are all these chicanes for? They must have been like... Obviously, there used to be huts here or something with security barriers, but they had this on the way in as well. So if anyone knows that, limb services, I think I mean limb services, isn't I? <laughs> limb services, what were all those um, things for? It's a big old place though, big old bloody place. Lots of spaces to park in. The bloke I was talking to just now, next to me, said he used to come here all the time to repair Susie's and lights on trucks. He used to be a mechanic. And he said that everyone used to be double stacked parking in there and that he was really surprised at how quiet it was. So I was like, I don't know, mate, so it's like the first time I've ever been in here. But it seemed, it did seem quite quiet, to be honest with you. Right, we need to get in the right-hand side lane because we're not going south, we're going north. Uh, M6 north is this lane. Okay, clear to the right. Bow, 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 bow. Yeah, there's a lot of traffic up ahead, which is a little bit annoying. I think if the, if the traffic wasn't there, then we would probably make the truck stop without stopping. But because we've got to stop, uh, if we go there, then I am debating stopping at an earlier truck stop, which just then means a little bit longer driving tomorrow in the morning to get there but then again I might not then use a 10 hour drive today it's just these are things you've got to, I've got to work out there's no point working out just yet because like it could change ideally I want to get as close as I can to my first stop tomorrow even if it means getting in, going into a 10 hour drive so then I've got less driving to do tomorrow but if I don't get right on the door today there's no point getting into a 10 hour drive so I need to park up before I go into nine hours driving time. And I've already done four and a half now, so it only leaves four and a half to go. So I have to basically stop before I need another break. That's the point. <laughs> but we will see. Right, let's crack on anyway. Uh, we're gonna join up to a lot of traffic sooner or later. And then when we get past Preston and Carlisle, oh, the views, I can't wait to see the views. The views are spectacular. I'll see you in a bit. Why do I make things complicated? Why do I lose all my control? Oh, oh. I keep on letting my bad habits Make us both come crashing to the floor Something to save us Close but we're strangers Feel like we're far apart Strip it down
Okay, you joined me a few hours later. I can't remember how many hours driving we had done when you last saw me. <laughs> what I do know is that we've uh, done about eight and a half hours, maybe eight hours, 45. I'll do a printout when, uh, when we stop, when we clock off. But yeah, almost nine hours driving. Um, and uh, we've only been at work for 11 hours. So yeah, nine hours driving in an 11 hour shift is not too shabby. Uh, obviously we had a 45 minute break, which means we were on overwork for an hour and 15 minutes. That was um, when we were getting loaded at both locations. Didn't take that long at either of them. So lovely. So yes, uh, Route 74 truck stop. I've not actually seen any signs for it. So uh, I hope it's here, because we're coming off here. <laughs> but I haven't seen any signs. Fingers crossed. <laughs> but yeah, everyone I speak to talks about Route 74 and they see how good it is and the food's good. So yeah, I'm looking forward to uh, having some food. <laughs> My only worry is that uh, there's an app and uh, when I stopped up at the services, I, I had a quick look at the app. Bear in mind, I'd already uh, reserved a price, uh, a place, sorry. They got 170, 170 places or something, and the app says they got 240 available of the 170, so that doesn't make sense. I'm hoping that they've not overbooked, because I've heard that some do that. But we will see. Place that. That's weird, it's got like a red bit on it. Uh, yeah, I can go. Left that a bit late, but we can go. I think we go down here, we're not going left. Yeah, down here. Ah, here we go, must be this entrance. Car park, registered trailer, changeovers, restaurant. Oh wow, he's a little bit busy. Like I said, I have reserved a place, so hopefully there is room. I'm pretty sure Trucker Jay's been in here before. Reserved parking for... Oh, that's my reg. My reg is there. Oh wow. Okay, I'm gonna have to... Uh... Move those cones. That's cool. I was not expecting that. <laughs> Right, we've got to try and get in here now. Lovely, 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 lovely. I do want to budge over a little bit though. So I leave room for the guy on the left. Excellent. Now oh, the question is now, how far do I go back? I'm going to assume I can get all the lorry in. I'm going to check how far back I can go. That'll do. We're in. Right. Curtains are closed, so I do want to turn the engine off. But I also want to turn my steering wheel to the centre. There we go, that's what we want. <sighs> right, before we actually clock off, I've got to uh, do some paperwork. So I'm just going to do that. I 
Okay, designed a print out just so I can do my driving time. We have done, where was it? Eight hours and 50 minutes. So yeah, we're 10 minutes shy. 10 minutes shy of a 10 hour drive. So if we go over nine hours, it's automatically a 10. So uh, yeah, we did good, we did good. Um, I put that with that there and then yeah so now we're done uh i'm gonna go into the truck stop make sure that uh parking has been paid for i'm assuming that it has because it's that's cool that my reg is there man that is so cool <laughs> um so see you in a bit hey everybody uh, unfortunately this is going to be the end of this video it's been such a epic drive that uh it's turned out to be a really long long video uh it's actually wednesday right now and i'm on my way back to the yard from a, a long day out um on today and yesterday and monday so um this vlog is going to be split into two so that is going to be the the it for uh the first part of this video which is what you've just seen uh and part two is going to be out very soon or maybe tomorrow now i've said it i kind of hope i do it but we'll have to wait and see or it might be out the following week um but yeah three whole days scotland and back uh it's been it's been quite an epic adventure i've done just trying to think about it now i've done one collection two collection uh then obviously two deliveries then a collection then a delivery then a collection and now again i'm on my way back down to, a, to do another delivery but not going to quite make it so we've, we've been here there and everywhere um so yes that's going to be the end of this video so thank you very much for watching do appreciate it uh as always drive safe stay safe i will see you soon and uh we we'll continue from where we just left off earlier on in this video. Bye-bye, see you soon.